I am ready. Two, one. Live from Waterloo, it's Rocky and Shaviva, and this is North End Update. You know what time it is. Boom! That's a Hey! Hey! It's Friday. Woo, it's yes, Friday. It you made it. Mm-hmm. Welcome, welcome, welcome to yes. Miss Rocky and Shaviva North End Update Live because... There's always always something good. You know it, yeah. Happening on the North End and everywhere else in this community and everywhere else in the world. Just ask Sweda Hoxha in Germany. I know. Isn't that something, how she keeps up with us? Good stuff everywhere. And we're here to tell you some of the stuff you may have missed on the news because Mm -hmm. the news has to talk about all the stuff, bad people included. But Mm -hmm. guess what we do? The good stuff. All the time. All the time. Every Friday. For Shout sure. out to our frequent viewers, Shaviva. That's right. Emily Stowe, Shayla Stevenson, Los Bravos Boxing Club, and Ooh. May Ambrose. Ooh, that boxing club, though. Yeah. Peggy Passone, our dear friend, Lisa Berry, Jamika Sanders, and John Grundy. That's my best friend's baby brother. Mm-hmm. But he's some like 50 some years old. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's a baby brother. Quit telling on yourself I now. I know, right. Today we got some great guests lined up for you. Yes, we absolutely do. We have Tanara Wade. Yeah. She's going to be talking to us about One City and Joel Hundley from Steamboat Gardens. Right. Yeah. And you know, I got something great to say about both of them, right quick. Really? Tanara is an award winning woman. That's right. Right? I mean, not only is her smile gorgeous, and she's just such a sweet person, she started, helped us get started. She invented, you know what time it is. That's right. Right? So we can't wait to catch up with her. And Joel Mm -hmm. is the owner of Steamboat Gardens. And I think he said that. That's a Waterloo institution. I'm telling you. Okay. I'm sorry. I just can't get over it. Looks like before we go any further, we got comments already. Yes. Yes. Chris Jones says, right on, sisters. Oh, Oh, hey, 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 hey. Love you. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, well, and also we want to thank our viewers for making us the best show on the internet. That's right. Seriously? That's right. Because we're the podcast <laughs> you can see. Right. Who mm-hmm. wants to just listen when you can just watch? And okay. Watch? We're going to have some great stuff coming up in the, in the sure. months to come. Yep. Stay with us for our Give It Air segment. We're going to talk about wokeshness. Mm-hmm. This is a new word that stems from the words consciousness and woke. Uh-huh. And what is consciousness? The definition is, oh, we'll just Let's get give to that him something, later. Let's give them something to wait for. Okay. Yeah. And our talking point is going to be about your mama. That's right. Because it's Mother's Day, mm-hmm. right? And we're going to share a little bit about our mommies. Yes. And then we want you to share a little bit about yours or okay. maybe someone that served that capacity. In that capacity, absolutely. Right. Somebody right. that spoke life into you. Right now, we want to say we're celebrating six years of positivity from a North End perspective, don't you know? Of course. And uh, we want to let you know that we are looking for another intern, too. Yes, Caleb put in his two-week notice, and so, you know, we got to find somebody to fill that spot. So, if you know of a young person that's interested in media and can come down here to the TV station mm-hmm. and learn how to just kind of fit in where Caleb's leaving us hanging. I'll see him. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Just let Uh, us know, please. Okay. And pay attention because we have a couple of giveaways for Mother's Day. That's right. Right yes. now. Yes. And okay. Tracy Loveless Hill is the one that's giving away this, what is mm-hmm. it, box of? That's right. Bo- Tracy's box of happy things. Yes. yes. A lot of people signed up for that. Mm-hmm. And we're also giving away a watch. from. Di- we're going to let our guests do the drawing. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Derek Holmes is giving away a watch and the winner is going to be drawn Today. That's right. Right? Mm-hmm. Breaking news. What, Shaviva? Bum, ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Breaking news is brought to you by Community Foundation of Northeast Iowa. Yes. Um, you know, last night there was Tour de Lou. Yes, that's, that's our breaking, breaking news. news. And mm-hmm. I was there. We had a great time at the Ferguson team. Um, and also our other breaking news mm-hmm. is that's Unfocused. Right. Yes, that album release party that's going to be happening at Electric Park Ballroom tomorrow evening at 6. If you don't have your tickets, get them. Right, because yeah. you know Felicia can sing. 
And guess what? I forgot to mention Tanara can sing. Yes, it did. Ask her to sing. All right. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. I don't know. Can Joel sing? Well, I guess we're gonna find we out. We're gonna find right? out. Mm -hmm. Yes, he can cook food. I know that. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're gonna introduce our guests right now because it's time to talk to them a little bit about some stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. And thank All you very right. much, Ed. We yes. have Tanara. Yes, we to do. To my Hello. right. All right. No, to my left. That's right. Hi, Tanara. <laughs> and we okay. have Joel. <laughs> Ever-loving Joel, the owner of Steamboat Gardens. Welcome. Thank you. You're very welcome. Well, today we're going to talk to, oh, well, let's see. Our Give It Air subject is uh, brought to you by Community Foundation, which is dedicated to improving lives. And what school did you go? Do you go to East? Warhawk. You went to West. Yes, absolutely. Stop. Okay. Waterloo proud anyway, mm -hmm. right? We love mm -hmm. West High Wallhawks. But yeah, um, so uh, we're going to talk about the Give It Air, but it's brought to you by who, Shaviva? The Waterloo Community Foundation. Dedicated improving to improving lives in Waterloo through supporting <laughs> okay. Waterloo nonprofit organizations. Yes. Before we Kayla. go any further, yes. Yes. We have one comment from Kawana Ryder. In regards to the events, ooh, how did I not know about this? I'd love to come. Oh, really? Oh, well, okay. we got time for tickets. Yes. That's Make right, sure Kiki. You... Check it out. We'll talk later, Kiki. We'll get you hooked up. Okay, so we have this word called wokeness. You know, it stems from the word consciousness and woke. And the consciousness is a noun, and it talks about the state of being awake and aware of one's surroundings. Woke, an adjective, which is actually in the dictionary now. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you knew that. Didn't know that. Um, yeah, so it is. And it's an adjective, and it means being alert to and concerned about social injustice and discrimination. So in essence, Derek Holmes says his new word that mm -hmm. he made up, <laughs> wokeness, is a, what, Shaviva? Wokeness is, and I quote, a strong mental epiphany putting you in a state of unequivocal knowing. Mm -hmm. Love Boom. It. Boom. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we don't expect you guys to really comment too much on it unless you really want to jump in there. But it's something that kind of bugged me and I wanted to talk about all month because of what I've been hearing on television, how it's been like made fun of or not really meaning anything. We wanted to bring some definition to that. I like the idea of a new word being created because the, what we're trying to do anyway is to make sure that we don't let the narrative be changed to something negative. Right. Because being woke is not a bad thing. As a matter mm -hmm. of fact, that's what you want, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Because like last week, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Thank right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and we don't get political really on this show, and that kind of is. Is it political, Shaviva? Well, like I said, <laughs> we don't want to <laughs> make that narrative something that it shouldn't be. That you is know, bad. Or, yeah. That's right. And we also want to stand up for books that are banned. <laughs> now, let me get oh, off my soapbox. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, let's not go down that wormhole. Okay. Yeah. All right, if you have any comments, please share them with us. All right, also, what are we talking about? Our mothers? Yes. Yes. Our talking point is brought to you by the Grout Museum, and we're going to talk about our mothers a little bit. Joel? Yes. How are you today? I'm great. Thanks for asking. <laughs> okay. And talk about your mom a little bit. What does she mean to you? My mom was, uh, yeah, she was great. She uh, was a big supporter of everything I did. Uh, taught me how to do what I do now. Really? Yeah. So she died in uh, 2000, 2001. So, mm. yeah. Yeah, that's a huge loss. And I know that, was she a good cook? She's great, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sewed and cooked and, yeah, always supported, very supportive mother. Okay, yeah. great. And she, t uh, Tanara, talk uh, about your mommy. I think I know her. Yes, yes, yes Kay. Mm -hmm. My mom, I call her the superwoman. Oh. She's a superwoman because she... She did literally everything for us. She had three girls and one boy, so she did a lot for her girls. I just remember her showing us um, how independent she was and that we can go for anything. So that's why I remember she always said, help those who help themselves. And that's what I'm doing. Mm. Mm. Well, you certainly are in your <laughs> new job capacity and all. And Shaviva? 
Well, my mother was um, one of those very, oh, see, there's a picture of me and my mom. Aww. She was one of those very meticulous kind of people, and she was very loving, very loyal. And one of the most important things that I think she taught all of us is how to move on in life without her. Mm. Okay? When I tell people, quote, unquote, that I don't miss my mother, I mean that in the sense that her physical presence, I would love a hug from my mother, but she's always in my heart. She's always in my thoughts. Mm -hmm. When I think about things that, um, you know, funny things mm -hmm. or the way that she uh, approached solving problems about stuff. So she's here with me all the time. That's so. good. Right. Well, good, Shaviva. Um, we're going to move on. Oh, bye, Mommy. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Betty Galloway Dedrick says, hello, everyone. Hey, hey, hey Betty. Betty. I got your gift at my house. Sorry I missed your call last week. <laughs> but we'll get together soon. Well, my mommy was um, a true warrior. She um, had to deal with discrimination a lot, of course, um, being a white woman married to a black man. And back in the 1950s and 60s, it certainly wasn't a thing that was welcome. So I've heard stories of how she advocated for black people by going to look at apartments, houses for them, for like my relatives, because the landlord wouldn't rent mm. to black people. But then she, when she went in and signed the paper, then she, that would be helpful, you know. So she used her white privilege, I guess you'd say, to um, assist people that were less fortunate in that sense. Mm -hmm. And also she was a great um, su moral supporter of mine, and I just love my mommy, and I miss her too. But I think once you, we were talking and we agreed that if you don't get everything that you need from your parents, then you're the one that's just crying and raising Cain at the funeral because they're mm -hmm. gone. But you know what I mean? If you get everything you need, there's no dress rehearsal, so get right. what you need from your parents. And happy Mother's Day to all of our viewers. Yes, indeed. Okay. Well, we spent some time marching down <laughs> memory lane. Now we're going to find out if Joel can sing. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite yet. You can start warming up, though, because it won't be long. You're going to be singing. That's right, Joe. You do not get out of here without singing. No, you got to sing. And loud enough for the police to hear. Yeah, upstairs. Okay. Yeah. I want to get arrested. <laughs> right. Well, the, your voice is there. Oh, it's bad. Okay. All right. Well, we have a few questions for our guests today, Shaviva. Mm -hmm. Why don't you start? We always start ladies first. Okay. Well, first of all, it's so wonderful to have you back here. It feels like kind of like old times, mm -hmm. right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. And uh, just talk, about, talk to us about what you're doing now with One City. Oh, well, One City is it's a nonprofit. It started um, years ago as a vision with um, Michelle Feltes and Dean Feltes. Oh, um, he was a pastor, and his, it was with his wife, and it just blossomed into um, a business um, that is the umbrella of Momentum is what I work for underneath Momentum. Oh. I mean, underneath One City. So Momentum, One City is the umbrella program, but I work for the Momentum program, now that's what I'll be talking about today. It's um, basically an employment readiness program, but I call it on steroids. <laughs> okay. Because it's not, oh. we, we focus on um, the mental health, we focus on uh, the whys, why you're not um, keeping employment, or, or why are you in this rut, in this circle. Um, and just reading my notes, it's, it's for the unemployed, underemployed, um, recovering addicts, justice impacted, um, returned citizens, homeless. If you're affected by mental health, if you're just struggling to make me ends meet, or you do not know your skill sets, or you want to know your skill sets. So it's for a variety of people. Uh, what's special to me about the program is I was in the program. Wow. So, so and, you can really give it a firsthand help you know you know what to expect from people when they come in i think we have comments kayla yes betty galloway dedrick says happy mother's day ladies oh, oh to you, you too thank you betty thank you betty okay and so yeah with you having that first hand look that has, how helpful has that been it's so different on this side i get the both i get both sides of the of the program i was in it april of 2021 is when i graduated it's a six, six week program oh. Um, you have to commit to it from uh, 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. You have to volunteer. When I was in there, it was doing COVID, so we couldn't really go oh, out man. much. 
Um, but it starts off with, we're trying to get 12 people started and then we work with them. We have people from the community from, uh, Mayor Hart, he was there um, before to come and speak to them. Um, people from Elevate, it's a rehab um, business that just actually opened up, they had a ribbon cutting just this weekend. Oh. Um, and then anybody really can come in from different businesses and they come present. Oh, we, to just talk to your group? Is mm -hmm. that what you mean? We already, you said you have Mayor Hart as a speaker. Yep, he, oh. yep, he came to just to encourage. We used to have a video up of him every time that we, nice. we come up just to encourage them. Mm -hmm. But the presenters come in. We already have it ready for them. Like if I would ask you guys to come in and present, it's like, for example, is overcoming uh, negative self-talk. Mm -hmm. You would already have the PowerPoint and you would come in and you speak speak to them, speak into their lives, but you would do it from a perspective of your life. Mm -hmm. So they get to see that just because you see people up there, or just like you're doing the Shaviva show, you'll tell the background of how you started. They think you just popped up and started this show, but it was a lot of hard work into it, it blood, sweat, and tears. Um, but through this program, um, our, the, my first class was last month. I did six weeks, and um, some of our participants are working at Unity Point. Oh. Um, for one is in uh, safety tech, one had a, a job as in the EVS in environmental services. So we just we connect them with people that can help them. So great. Basically. So you're a great resource to um, actually lead people to um, Employment. help yep. wherever it is. Mm -hmm. Well, great, great. And how can people get a hold to you? Um, they can go on our site at um, one city. It's onecitycv.org. Um, ours is onecitycv.org. Um, slash backslash momentum. Um, we do have um, we do have a class coming up on May twenty second, and you can enroll. Oh, nice! Um, and I have the card here. You can enroll um, on the sixteenth or the seventeenth, and we do an interview with you. And then you would um, come to class if you're picked. We'll call you and let you know, and you commit to those six weeks. And after nice. that graduation, we'll hopefully connect you with employment. Yes, comments, Caleb. Doug Marshall says Tanara rocks. Yeah. So proud of her. All, All right. right. Doug, Thanks, Doug. Yes. He's, he, we saw him last week. Yep, sure so, did. yeah, thank you so much, Tanara, for sharing that information. And you're the best person for that job. Mm, thank you. You definitely are. Okay, we're going to switch gears, Shaviva, and talk to this guy. Yes, <laughs> we are. <laughs> we recently came and visited you, you for did. lunch, and we had the hot beef. I remember and talking I, mm -hmm. to you. Oh, yeah. And the popcorn shrimp, too. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. we did. Yeah. I thought you were just kidding about a show and then. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. but first, let's talk about, I, I want to ask him about his, he's a musician. Did you oh, know that? Somebody commented I didn't know, that. I didn't yeah. know about that until you mentioned yeah. it. Yeah. But, I mean, as to, as to the Steamboat Garden, I didn't know how true that was when I said, oh, it's a Waterloo institution. Apparently, it really is. How long has this business been in your family and well, it started in 1933 wow which was really unusual I, I looked that up and I thought why would he build in the middle of a depression in the right at the beginning yeah, yeah. so it was it, it was because prohibition ended so then it was more of a beer parlor but he, oh. he there was a drive in there before it was on 1300 block of Falls and Duryea and so he being his name was no no his name was no? Tom Adams but I don't think Adams was his real name he was from Greece oh. hmm. and uh he moved back to Greece in 43 and sold it to his friend Paul Lamb. And that wasn't his, I think his last name was Lambicus. Oh. And he was another a guy from Greece that was his friend. So Tom Adams, who originally built it, moved back to Greece. And that's, you know, that was, you know, he died there. And then uh, when Paul took it over in 43, he uh, added a few things. And he had a real, real good reputation of being the hamburger man. Oh, okay. and, but wasn't it shaped like a steamboat was, at first yeah, he, with the little windows? He window. built it like that, yeah, oh, with the stacks and everything, so cool. right on the Black Hawk Creek. Oh, my. And then uh, my father and mother both worked at Rath Packing Company. Mm. And uh, my father told me I, he had 25 to 30 years there, but in the late 50s, it was getting kind of, uh, you know, a lot of trouble, basically. Okay. It was like, uh, you know, they would strike a lot and... He was at a meeting, and he was at you know a rank and file meeting, and he, he, they were kind of saying that hey, you know, we got to give up some things, or this this company's not going to work. Oh. And everybody kind of acted, well, so what, you know, you know. And so he said, well, I got to get out of here. Right, so because yeah, you he don't said want this to. isn't healthy, you know. So that's when he was looking for something. Talked to uh, Paul, and Paul said, I'm ready to sell to you, 
and that was 1963. Oh, boy. So we've had it since 63. Wow. So I worked for my father and my older brother and then my other older brother, and then it was me, yeah. Wow, so yeah. it's kind of sometimes the kids don't want anything to do with the business. So yeah. he, your, your dad didn't have that problem because no. all your brothers jumped yeah. right in. It was kind of a family farm, so everybody had chores to do. <laughs> okay. You know, and uh, <laughs> even me as a, as a little guy. And that's, I've always looked at it that way, just a, just a job. Mm. So. Interesting. Well, yeah. it certainly comes off as more than a job. Yeah. I mean, Shaviva's still talking about her roast beef. <laughs> and it was just she so likes delicious. to talk, though. That's great. No. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what has been uh, some of your most popular dishes? Yes, yeah, tell everybody what well, you really like. That's a good one. A tenderloin thing is a real big thing. Okay. I, I can tell you a story about this little tugboat idea that we came up with. Oh. It? It's so a funny story. Are you still marketing story. today, are you? No, no it's, it's a funny Watch story. It, so, so I'm, at, I'm in, in, in uh, culinary school, mm. and we had to come up with an idea, a menu planning idea. So I, I, I kind of copied this White Castle. Have you heard of White Castles? Yes. Where they had these little right. sliders. Sure. Yes. So I said, well. Don't give away your secret now. Well, no, okay. no, it's not really. So we, we had this little sandwich called the tugboat, like a two-ounce tenderloin. Okay. Oh. Fried oh. tenderloin. How interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, so I made a menu about it and all this kind of stuff, and. It was great, man. I had a couple other items. It was kind of, you know, you drive through, you had this tenderloin you could buy for a dollar, and she gave me a D. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> she said, nobody's going to want a sandwich that small. Oh, not a tenderloin. I said, well, yeah, but they're like, it's like the slider concept. Right, right. So I drove back every day from Cedar Rapids, Kirkwood Community College, and I was kind of stewing. Uh-huh. I said, well, I think mm -hmm. that idea is going to work. Mm -hmm. And I, I hear an ad, you know, about something, you know, I thought, hey, I could do that. I could call it a Tugboat Tuesday. So I went and talked to my brother. He owned it at the time. Okay. And he said, okay, we can give it a shot. And so we started doing that. I think the first week we sold like 100. Now we sell about 1,300 of those. So that's okay. the answer to your question. There you yeah. Go. <laughs> so so Tugboat, and then, you, you know, go on a Tuesday. Yeah. yeah right, so girls? I never rubbed it in. I never talked to the, the instructor after that. I, never, I said, I told you it would work, and it right. did. Right. <laughs> that's what you want to say sometimes yeah. is, I told you I so. I told you so, but I wouldn't do that. But Well, good for you. But, uh, and yeah. um, we had Roth Jewelers on the show once here recently because you. they're a very old business. I'm oh, sure yeah. your family Great guy. are those. Is that oh. Kevin? Is that? Um, yes, and his daughter. I mm -hmm. can't. Yeah, she was on too. But, yeah, we want to get some of these older businesses in Waterloo and kind of, you know, give you your props because we really appreciate it. My dad used to come in there from Hawkeye Steel. That was a great place. check every single mm -hmm. Friday. Yeah, that was right around the corner. You bet. Well, we want to thank you for showing up today. And you should have brought you. What do you pay? Guitar? Drums? I'm a drummer, so I'm not really a musician. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't count. <laughs> And I sing in the key of whiskey, so that's not very good. Oh, no, oh, that's got goodness. to be bad. Well, we're going to find out. We're going to get you toned up for that key. You guys Felicia know that Felicia is key? a great singer. The key Felicia? of whiskey. Felicia, oh, great yeah. Singer. You yeah. know Felicia. I know her. I'm telling you, you better get to that concert <laughs> Absolutely. Tomorrow. Yeah, and this right here, this lady is a great singer. Absolutely. And everybody's waiting for the drawing. Yes, they are. Okay, this. so. Yes, this drawing is for the watch. The Banneker. The Banneker watch. watch. Did you like the post? I did. You did? Well, your name's in <laughs> here. You guys are funny. Good luck. Here we go. Drum roll. Oh, we should have the drummer do oh, the yeah. drum roll. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> one, uh, one winner, and the, and winner, the winner is, is Van. Van Harris. All oh, right. congratulations, Van Harris. Van Harris. Congratulations. Yay. A beautiful Banneker watch. And now, oh, we're going to put those. Okay, That's there right. you go. Good looking out, Shannon. Hey. So we got something kind of nice. Who mm -hmm. made that? Nice. Drum roll. <laughs> got another drawing. This is for Tracy Loveless Hills book and a basket of awesome things. That's yes, that's right. Drum roll. All and right, nice. Go and ahead. the, the winner, winner is. May Ambrose. May Ambrose. Awesome. Ambrose. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. Waterloo proud. And now we got some great birthday people, Shaviva. We always have the very best birthday people. That's <laughs> right. Man. Yes. We have Shanisha Vaughn, Preston yes. Taylor, Jackie Emil Wagner, my cousin. Big love. Kevin right. Burt, shout out. And Janet Zilk, we love you. Thank you for watching and participating. Okay. And we also have happy birthday to Rob Nichols. Yes. Travis Chris. Yes. Cheyenne Jensen. <laughs> yes, Cheyenne. Maurice Spencer. Yes. And our favorite lady, Maybe Powcaston. Happy One birthday. Yes, yes, happy birthday. And I'm sure you would agree. It couldn't fit more perfectly. 
Than to have a world party <laughs> on the day you came to be. Happy birthday to ya. Come on, happy <laughs> birthday to ya. Happy birthday, happy birthday oh, to ya. Like a happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Woo! We had some harmony. That was good. Oh, my goodness. That gave me chills. Okay, me too. Say happy birthday to the people. Oh. However you want to. Just real quick before we go. Okay. We got a minute. Look. Here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, all the people. <laughs> Happy birthday to you and many more. Yay! Yeah. There you go. Oh, nice. When well, we have a singer, we gotta let them sing. That's right. We, we got, got a, a party drummer. We got a drummer. We gotta have him drum. We yes. did. <laughs> all right, Caleb. Your Betty Galloway Dedrick says, "Congratulations, May Ambrose." Yes, okay. and Van Harris. Yes. All right. We'd like to tell all of our viewers, please, please, please keep doing more stuff that makes you awesome. That's right. Like Tanara and like Joel. Yes. Because, because it, it makes, makes us, us all look, look good. good. <laughs> and remember, if it's Friday, it's, it's North, North End, End Update. Update. See you next time. And happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Say happy Mother's happy Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy okay. Mother's Day. <laughs>